guys, this is Andrea. Uh, this is going to be before your actual reading. Um, I just want to let you know that um, I'm really sorry for being late. Uh, practically the entire October I was sick. Uh, the beginning of October I came down with an upper respiratory that was so bad I, could hardly, I couldn't even talk for about a week. And then I got a lot of orders for readings, and so I did readings, and then I had doctor's appointments, I had dental work. It's just been a month of health, and I still have the bronchitis. Um, it actually got, or it actually came back in about a week ago from all the different weather changes here in Chicago. Uh, so I am on medication again. I'm not making the videos long they're extremely many I mean between seven and ten minutes actually I like it this way um, I'd love to give you long readings but you know I come on here and read and then I'm reading people live uh, or through uh, you know email orders and um, also on instant go and then at the same time I've got my other um, business in pet care that I've been I'm going on my 13th year with it nope I haven't given it up yet really love working with animals I'm an animal communicator anyways um, I should start a, st a channel on that but anyways um, yeah that's kind of where I'm at and I just wanted to inform you all uh, just so you're not surprised um, I'm also uh, looking forward into 2019 to uh, be on Facebook more um, and also Instagram, uh, where I'll be live, uh, also too here on YouTube, answering your questions, uh, doing live readings this way also, but I'm really sorry, um, I'm still not feeling 100%, I am back doing readings again next week, my schedule is up, and below the videos you can, uh, it, it shows you where you can contact me, or if you want to, want me to add you on my Facebook, uh, page. Uh, etc. Okay, I really appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for always being here for me. And I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, those who are celebrating, uh, happy birthday, Scorpio, uh, and also Sagittarius, which comes in the end of November. Okay, stay blessed, be loved. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to November 2018. Monthly Love Tarot Reading. What are the messages for Cancer? Cancer Love November. So we've got the Page of Wands. I feel like November is a month that you're going to hear some good news here. Now let me just see how the other cards are falling. And I'll get more in there. So there's a new beginning here. Wow, looks like with a fire sign. We've got the King of Wands that covers you. And we've got the death below you. We've got the Hermit, which also represents Virgo. We've got the Death card, Scorpio. Woo, we're busy. Four of Wands. In the near future position, Three of Wands, Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Well, it looks like you're going to be holding ground on something. Yep, that's what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm getting here is I feel like there's some news that's coming in in November that is good news for you uh, some of you cancers have really gone through a transition to where you're wondering if the world is going to change and I mean your world is going to change um, you've spent a lot of time some of you alone with not a partner um, you have tried uh, to make things work with an ex and things have just been kind of turbulent here and there but I do feel like you guys are going to find your peace um, okay so 
I do feel like there's still some moments coming up in November where I feel like you'll be spending a lot of time with yourself. I feel like this is good, though, because I feel like you should meditate, practice yoga, do some qigong, whatever, just to kind of get your energy flowing and moving. Okay, there is definitely a fire sign some of you are very interested in. I feel like that there's going to be a, good, a nice beginning here uh, between the two of you. But you're just wondering where is this going to go because it's like you heard from them and then all of a sudden you didn't hear from them. You've got the death card that's now moving behind you. Okay, so you kind of already went through this transition and transformation. But you're still uh, lagging a little bit of motivation when it comes to... Uh, you know, finding your partner and or even working with your partner because of things that have transpired in the past. Um, the Four of Wands. We, well, first of all, we got Ace of Swords. So things are going to move. I feel like there's a communication. Like I said, I feel like there's messages coming in for uh, you in the, in the month of November that are good. And I, I really feel like the Ace of Swords is saying there's new beginnings in regards to uh, communication, uh, getting involved uh, with others, and the Four of Wands, to me, I love this card, because this is, to me, um, I, I don't know, it reminds me of 1111, you know, shifting, twin flame energy, soulmate energy, um, but it, that's what's what, what's going to be your focus in November, uh, about, um, I feel either getting back together with somebody from the past, or uh, you're just going to uh, meet somebody new. Now, I do feel like that some of you have met someone or, or maybe someone introduced you to someone. And I feel like that someone, um, you know, is interested, but you, you, you're not really sure. Okay, that information is going to come out for you in November. And I feel like for some of you, it's a, a definite go. We've got the three of wands here. Uh, this is you just going out now, you know, you're waiting for your ship to come in. So I'm waiting for... I feel like you're waiting for um, news. I feel like you're waiting to hear from someone. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like you know what you need to do. Okay. And then we've got the Six of Wands where I feel like somebody is coming in your life quickly. Uh, we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, this is new. This is um, Pentacles is finances, money cards. Uh, I feel like in your relationship, uh, maybe some of you have had some debt or or money issues, uh, maybe some new ideas are coming in here uh, where you might partner up with, with someone that um, is your significant other or, you know, somebody that you love. The Queen of Swords, this is a pretty powerful card. The Queen of Swords, just like the King of Swords, has uh, authority. So I feel like this, the word, the last word is yours, Cancer, okay? Now, I usually pull a card on each side. So here we have the Seven of Wands, and we've got the Nine of Wands. So I, I feel like what I'm getting here is the, the words leaving the stress behind, okay? Uh, I feel like you standing here as the Queen of Swords here, um, I just feel like... <sighs> You know, you've got a couple wand cards, so it's a lot of fire energy, but I just feel that this seven of wands, you're still defending yourself. You're still holding uh, something over someone's head kind of thing. Uh, the nine of wands, though, um, whatever this stressful situation you're having in a relationship, I I feel that you, you need to stop uh, getting so emotionally involved in it. I feel like you just need to let it go. Uh, as much as you can. Otherwise, it's not going to change. You're still going to go around with the same same circle here with the same problem, the same issue. All right. Um, so you have a lot of fire. You've got Virgo. You've got Scorpio. Um, you have an air sign. could be Libra. It could be Gemini or Aquarius. Uh, that could also be your moon arising. But, but I really feel like this Queen of Swords in this position. It could be also not just you. It could be some, you know, you're a significant other that is just kind of frozen right there in this spot and, and really just um, doesn't want to budge, okay? That that just this is the way it's going to be. And, and it's actually causing problems. That's why we've got a stress cards around it. I mean, the Seven of Wands is not that bad, but I feel like you're defending yourself on something here. And then, uh, or or they are, and then you've got the Nine of Wands, which is a pretty stressful card. I mean, the highest we're going to go is Ten of Wands. 
too much fire energy. There's too much anger, I feel, that's still uh, involved uh, with this. So, I mean, the plan isn't going to move any further as long as you hold, uh, you know, that energy, uh, that anger energy or wanting to get even kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm pulling in here uh, for November. I, I, it's real to me, it's a good month. You've got really good cards. I feel like, you know, there are times you need to take a break and space out. Uh, I mean, just space out by taking your own space and, you know, leave things be when things start to get kind of uh, intense, like the Nine of Wands, uh, and just kind of let it work its way out. I wouldn't antagonize or I wouldn't allow anybody to antagonize you. Um, but, you know, that's when I start seeing the Nine of Wands, I just feel like, you're pushing the buttons here and the buttons, you need to lay off the buttons now. I think the point's been made. That's what I feel. Okay. Hey, Cancer, it was great to connect. Have a great month. Take care.